Hello! In this video, I'm gonna show you all methods of factory resetting or hard resetting your Samsung Galaxy A17. Okay, so um, there are gonna be four methods in total. That's quite a lot, uh, but um, all of them have sort of different use cases. I mean, two are similar, but you'll see everything in the process, okay? So let's begin with the classic method, uh, which I think is the best, as long as you are able to use it, it's the best method because it's gonna sign you out all of all of the all accounts, so you don't have any problem later with an FRP. FRP is factory reset protection. And if you do a different method than this, then during the setup, you will be asked for the email and password to your Google account. So you need to know that, uh, like, and if you're planning on selling the phone, it's best to do it with the first method so the person that buys it can actually set up the phone and use it. Now, um, this first method is quite simple. It's just going to the settings. So as long as you can use it, what I mean by that is you need to know how to unlock your phone. You need to have access to your phone um, lock screen. So uh, here uh, you can go to settings, then go down to uh, general management, scroll down to reset, and now find a factory data reset. Now you can scroll down, you'll see everything will, will be reset, then click on reset, and now draw your current pattern or enter your current pin or password, then click on delete all. And here, before resetting, it's worth to back up your data, so maybe you may want to go back actually and back up your data to an SD card or to a cloud, uh, to Samsung Cloud, to Google Cloud, or to a computer. There's lots of different uh, backup day, uh, methods and there are also videos on the channel about it, so you can find that. Now I'll need to enter the password to my Samsung account to verify that's me. If you don't have a Samsung account, you won't be asked about that. Now let's click on OK and it's shutting the phone down and resetting it. It will take a moment, but shortly the phone will be reset. I will quickly set it up and show you all the other methods. Now the phone was reset, so uh, you can set it up, of course, and here it there's no problem with it since the phone uh, was um, unlocked with this first method, uh, was reset through this first method, which actually deletes all the data. Um, I'll just quickly go through that setup process and get back to you when it's set up so we can do another method. Okay, now I'm set up. I'm just gonna go to home uh, and um, something's loading. Let's click on later. Yes, and now um, we're gonna do a second method called a hard reset through recovery mode. Uh, if I uh, if I lock the phone, then um, I'm gonna now act like I don't know the screen lock. Uh, so yeah, there's some screen lock, we don't know it, or maybe we know it, but we find this method faster. If you, if you do, then it's totally okay uh, to use the recovery mode. You'll need to first plug your phone in to a computer. You won't need to use the computer, it just has to be plugged into any computer at all. I think it can also be just plugged into charger, although I, I'm not really sure you can try it out, but it just has to be connected. So uh, it's a protection that you don't do it accidentally in your pocket or something. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna plug it in to my computer because I know it works that way. Uh, now we'll need to uh, turn the device off. So let's see. Mm. Once you start pressing and holding on power and volume down, you can see that when you try to power it off, then it's gonna ask you for the password. Oh, it actually did some Gemini stuff. 
<laughs> no, it wasn't supposed to do that. Yeah, let's see if it does that. So press and hold on power and volume down, and then power off, power off. And yeah, it asks me for the pattern. So if it asks you as well, then we're gonna do a force restart, uh, but we need to move on quickly. So uh, press and hold on power and volume down at the same time until the screen goes off. And once it goes off, quickly move the finger from volume down to volume up while still holding, holding power button. Then release power button when Samsung logo appears. I know it sounds difficult, but trust me, it is possible. <laughs> and um, if you can shut down the phone normally, then uh, you just need to, once the phone is shut down, start pressing on power and volume up, then release power while still pressing volume up when Samsung logo appears. So just like half of the process. Now I'm gonna do the whole thing because I need to shut it down without the password. So let's do power and volume down. Keep on pressing once something shows up on the screen. Now I'm quickly moving on to volume up once the screen goes off and now I'm releasing the power button once Samsung logo appears. And let's wait a moment. It should go into recovery mode. Yes, and now we are in Android recovery. So it was very simple to get here. Now uh, you will need to use your uh, volume buttons to navigate through the menu. So we will need to go down to wipe data slash factory reset, then click on power button to approve. Now go down to factory data reset and power button to approve. Wait a moment, then select reboot system now and click on power button to approve. Now your phone is reset. It will take a moment longer than usual for the phone to start. This is normal after a reset. Um, and then you can set it up. But I'll show you during the setup process that it requires me to enter my previously signed in Google account or to um, enter my password, like the screen lock password. So I'll just see you then. You can see during the setup process, we can already see this lock in top left corner. This indicates that the phone was uh, reset during uh, with a process that later during the setup will require uh, a screen lock or the Google account. And this is the screen that shows up after connecting to Wi-Fi. I need to draw my pattern or enter a pin or password if you had that, um, like the, the one that was there earlier or use your Google account instead. I think it's easier to restore your Google account password if you don't know that as well, because you can click on enter your email and click on forgot password. Uh, fortunately, I remember my Google account and that's what you should do. You should remember it because otherwise um, it's gonna be quite, quite difficult to function. <laughs> and um, it, is, it is very worth to just have uh, your email and the password in your mind. But as you can see, after doing that, I can now sign into whatever Google account I want. So I'm actually gonna use the same one, but feel free to either skip it, enter a different email or create an account. There's so many options here. And um, yeah, I'll just set up the phone pretty quick and then we'll get to the third method. Okay, now my phone is set up and we're gonna do the third method. Uh, this requires another device, doesn't have to be a computer, but I will use a computer because it's easier for me to demonstrate that. I can display the, the screen, you know. Um, and you will need to search for Google Find My. I can lock the phone, it doesn't matter currently. Let's go to Google Find My Device and go to Find Hub. You should go to Find Hub, then select your phone. Um, you can see I have it right here. And then select Factory Reset Device. Then click on Next. And um, I'll need to verify with my password. So it's not like, you know, someone is accessing your uh, computer. <laughs> and yeah, 
uh, we're gonna click on reset here, erase, and there's gonna be... Um, and now you can see the phone is restarting automatically. I'm gonna click on this means here and it's gonna reset itself. And through this method, it's also gonna um, work the same. Uh, what I mean by that is it's gonna um, also ask you for the Google account that was previously signed in earlier, uh, called FRP, Factory Reset Protection. And, um, but it's great because you can do it remotely. Uh, as long as the uh, phone is connected to any internet. Um, but yeah, if it has a SIM card in and has mobile data enabled, then you can do it. And it's great because no one can then access your phone even if they know the password to the phone. Uh, then uh, they probably don't know your Google account. So uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's great. And they won't be able to use it or sell it because it'll be locked. And um, yeah, it's gonna reset itself. I'm gonna set it up and show you the last method shortly. Okay, and now it's time for the last method. It also requires a different device, but this time we will be doing it not through Google, but through Samsung account. So Samsung account has to be logged in on this phone. And now I'm also uh, gonna test it if it also logs with FRP uh, because like the last time I did it, it was so long ago that FRP didn't exist back then. Uh, so uh, we'll see um, if it locks it. So uh, we need to go to smart things find uh, and go to that, then sign into our Samsung account. So let's do it. Then uh, enter the password. Okay, uh, let's agree. And we are in the smart things now. Uh, we have our Samsung's uh, A17, right? And we can click on Erase Data. So let's click on that. Now, there's gonna be a verification code. You can see it gets to my one of my phones, so I can either get a different phone because I'm logged in on different phones, or click on didn't get the verification code, and then I can verify with backup code verify with passkey or verify with text message. Um, so yeah, it gets a little problematic in, in this case, but uh, I think I'm just gonna like um, get a different device and try to do it that way. So um, hold on a second. Okay, I got the verification code on my tablet, but it can be sent to your SMS as, as well or uh, you can also try doing other stuff. Um, let's uh, verify. And now uh, we'll see that the phone should uh, start resetting. Mm -hmm. It did not start resetting. So let's try clicking on the erase data again. Yeah, okay. Then erase, okay. And uh, yeah, it says that if a Google account um, is on the phone, then I'll need to re-enter it. So um, I think this is it for the video. And um, I hope that the video was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.